hello guys so in this video I'm going to show you how you can create your github repos readme file so for beginners this video might be helpful because github's readme is based on a markdown format so markdown is special text format it has some special keywords to um, show bullet points to show headings to show different kind of headings so for beginners it's a bit hard to learn that specific syntax so we will go through a process through a technique uh, that uh, won't require you to learn the markdown syntax specifically so here i have created a test project you can apply it to any project i have just created a sample react application and here is the github readme file we will be modifying this later on okay so here i am creating a um, repository so let's just wait now let's go to this website so this is the website that i used to create markdowns for my github readme so this website makes use of almost all the features of a github readme markdown so if you want to add code snippets you can just uh, look over here and then find the corresponding markdown so what you can do is just um, consider this code snippet and just update it accordingly according to your own code okay so i have this test project here let's open it in an ide let's open it in visual studio code okay now go to source file index.js let let's say if we want to copy all of this and show it in our readme so all i have to do is just copy it over here see these are some standards of markdown you can specify the language and uh, it will um, highlight the syntax accordingly so it was previously sh which is um, which is which means shell that's why it was um, colored differently now i changed it to js which means javascript so now it has updated the color formatting of this syntax to js it works even without that it will show the code properly formatted but it won't highlight the syntax so let's keep the js over here okay now let's see if we want to show build status okay so i will make a separate video on how you can integrate travis ci to show build passing failed status on your repo but for now for this one let's just uh, see how we can add different badges in our repo so you can just see and all they have uh, done is added the travis ci url here and added the specific keyword build status and it is showing the build passing status uh, right in the readme itself uh, if we want to show bullet points we can simply find the syntax here you can just make the updates here like let's say this is a test project and test file one okay i am bad with examples okay so now if you want to add some headings you just need to add a little pound sign before the heading and it will show as highlighted heading over here you can find various examples if you want to show something quoted all you have to do is put some arrows before it see extremely simple you can find all these examples right in the billinger markdown itself if you want to add some url let's say if we want to add this url clickable url then all i have to do is add square brackets around it and then add this parenthesis uh, with the url inside of it and we can just click on that url now let's move on to plugin you see there are different sizes of a markdown heading if we add just one pound sign it's a bit bigger another one smaller another one smaller and no more than that so there are just three pounds and limitations to mark to markdown and it will um, change the size of fonts accordingly that's all i guess so you can simply create your markdown file over here and then just copy it paste it in your project now what we have to do now we have to just make it a test project I will just make it a private repo you can make it public as well so let's just create this repo without initializing readme now let's move into the folder just cd 
and drag and drop the folder and we are in the folder get init it initializes the repo get add all get commit show commit get remote add origin then now get push origin master now let's refresh this page now see our beautifully formatted readme file is displayed the code is properly highlighted and formatted and we can make changes to this readme file as we want now there is another thing that i want to teach that i recently learned how you can show directory structure of your code in the readme itself so there is a specific tool to generate that directory structure so you can copy and paste that in your readme file so uh, it's called tree it works on both mac linux and on windows as well for windows the command will be a bit different i'm using mac right now so uh, i cannot confirm the windows command a bit googling will get you there so it's pretty simple you can install the tree via brew install tree i have already installed the tool that's why i'm not installing it again so now what you can do is do something like tree l and 2 i just want to show the tree to level deep i don't want to show all subdirectories of subdirectories of subdirectories that would be really unnecessary so two level deep would be fine so let's see what it does okay now we have our source directory public directory but what do we have here you see our complete node modules folder is also showing in the free commands listing we don't want that so what can we do we can simply add another flag of ignore and write node modules see now tree command ignored the node modules folder and simply displayed our folder structure a two levels deep now just copy all of it let's move to the linger and let's add another heading of structure we have it here structure and now now our folder structure is beautifully displayed in our github repository let's commit this one as well move to readme save now type in git add dot git commit edit folder structure git let's refresh the page and we have the folder structure here so hope you like this video feel free to ask me anything in the comment section if you want to know anything about git just ask me anything in the comment section and i will try to make a video on that don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and see you guys in the next one thanks